breakthroughs in science and technology, innovations in business and beyond. Join us as we educate, enlighten, and entertain. This is Advancements. Thanks for joining us. I'm Ted Danson. Today's episode is dedicated to exploring the latest developments taking place across a number of industries. Join us as we discover how science, technology, and determination are working together to foster innovation. As healthcare systems continue to evolve, challenges to create more efficient and effective therapies are being explored. Learn more next. The application of electricity for pain treatment dates back to antiquity, when ancient Egyptians, Romans, and Greeks used electrical discharges from fish to treat things like headaches and gout and to numb the pain of childbirth. You know, electrical muscle stimulation dates all the way back to 500 BC. They literally have Egyptian hieroglyphics of Egyptians getting into pools with torpedo fish and electric fish. Uh, then Galvani really, really pushed it forward. He actually used electricity on a dead frog and making the frog jump involuntarily. That's where we really identified that an outside electrical source can stimulate a muscle and make it move. It was used in space to help with muscle atrophy and bone density loss. It's used in the physical therapy center. And now it's evolved to you know, full body suit that can stimulate multiple muscles and multiple patterns. As technology progressed, the miniaturization of medical devices paved the path to current electrostimulation techniques and their implementations in physical medicine and rehabilitation. Electrostimulation is used in rehabilitation of orthopedic and neurologic conditions. So typically, stimulation is used for repair of sports injuries or post-operative uh, care after arthritic joint replacements. Now, it's also used in neurologic conditions quite a bit, as well as cardiopulmonary rehab. It increases your ability to move your muscles even if you feel that you can't. Used in both clinical and at home settings to encourage greater healing, Many physical therapists and doctors recommend EMS units to their patients. All electrical stimulation units today are where the patient lays on the table and you stimulate them. I can't think of one out there right now that it's functional, where you can apply it to them, they get up off the table and they actually do all of their movement patterns with the backup of the electrical current. The current devices that are out on the market are very limited and each device does its own thing. Uh, you can't move, you can catch the wires, they can fall off, the electrodes are stuck onto the body with a simple gel. You know, those electrodes are falling off to where you're laying static. It's more about the ability to get up and move. Now, innovations in science and technology are helping to fill the gaps and redefine the way electrostimulation is delivered. Humans walk like humans. Horses walk like horses. It's species specific. So if you get the human patterns of all movements, now you can take the stimulator and pattern it after normal muscle movements. So the stimulator activates your muscles in a sequence that you normally would be moving, and then it just enhances your ability to you know, get the body moving in a, a correct way. So the Neuro20 system is a innovative technology that's incorporated in this body suit that has electrodes for the different groups of muscles. When the suit is turned on and it's stimulating the muscles, you are also doing movement patterns. And when you repeatedly keep doing that same motion over and over again, you're improving the muscle memory and the repetition creates a brand new behavior. So you prevent the muscles from getting injured or just kind of being worked over time. The flexible, form-fitting Lycra Suits remote platform provides electrical muscle stimulation and biosensor information to optimize motion and performance. We've measured how the body moves and we've created these millisecond patterns so when you're up on your toes, your legs are moving as if you're walking. And if you're sitting down, you let your muscles are firing like you're cycling. We can measure everything that's happening, strip away all the data, identifications, HIPAA compliant. So every time somebody uses the suit, we're actually taking it compiling that information in order to create the next protocol for a more efficient recovery. You know, based on their isokinetic data, their strength measurements in the weight room, where their deficiencies are, you can then program in 
that to the device and overcome, override those deficiencies and bring the athlete back to 100%. Located over large muscles, covering motor points to create an involuntary contraction, the machine washable antimicrobial electrodes are embedded into the suit and are constructed respective to muscle contour. So let's say for example quadriceps, it's a big muscle, but if you just use like a two by two square inch pad, it's not really getting a lot of the whole muscle. So the larger the surface area that's been covered by the electrode means there are more motor neurons that are being fired. And the more motor neurons that are fired, that means the strength is increasing, which then translate into better function, better usage, better ability to do your functional activities of daily living. If you activate both the biceps and triceps, these, this is a co-contraction. The stimulator is tightening both muscles, but you can voluntarily override the triceps by flexing your elbow, activating your biceps at a much higher level than the stimulator is activating your triceps. So you, you get a movement, but you have to fight in order to do that. And it's a voluntary movement that you have to make to overcome the resistance of your own body, your own co-contracting muscles. With the potential to maximize performance and recover quicker from injury, muscle fatigue, and delayed onset muscle soreness, the device can be used for multiple rehabilitation needs or for preventative health maintenance following rehabilitation. No different than an athlete if they were to be in the weight room. You're doing the weights, but electrically and getting stronger and stronger and stronger. So you're utilizing their time a lot more efficiently. It's, a, it's absolutely changing the outlook for rehab, for movements, for sports. These patients can walk faster, they can ride their bikes at a faster pace. You know, they had back pain and now they don't have to suffer and they can lift their child up with no injuries. But you can't keep going to PT and get passive treatment, but when you're able to do something and that changes their life for the better and they're able to sustain it, and pattern stimulation will kind of help you do that.